Yo, Frank, give me a hand here. Hey. What? What gives? Considering the helicopter and all, we have to work together. But that doesn't mean we can tell you everything. And everything we do tell you can't necessarily be printed. Yeah, so? So, I just want you to appreciate the situation. Well, we're up to our necks in zombies. Yeah, I think I appreciate the situation just fine. Zombies. I still can't believe all this, you know? Seems so unreal. <sighs> you all right there? Yeah, I got it. You should rest a while, Brad. You go ahead and catch some sleep first. We can switch in four hours, okay? Hey yo, what is up everybody, Zoel the Wolf here, and welcome everyone back to part 2 of Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. So, last episode, uh, we had our first episode, uh, where we just did, got through, you know, can't, got to Willamette, the zombies are attacking, we fought Carlito, the first Carlito fight, and then I uploaded a second little video where it was the Adam the Clown side quest, uh, we did that, and like I, like I said in that video, we'll probably be splitting it up in some ways like some smaller videos will be some of the more side stuff we'll still be doing side quests in the main story but also the main stuff will be these longer videos and so you probably saw the cutscene at the beginning of this video too i actually walked into it after we finished the adam the the first cutscene before the, the next case starts so uh that's okay but now the second case is about to officially begin so let's hop in so i got a little chainsaw or quick steps i just gotta chill Nice. That can't be good. What's going on, anyway? Before this whole thing started, someone called the professor and told him to come to this mall. Jack the line, did you? So is this the caller, this guy here? They've got something to do with the zombies, don't they? They are the reason we came here. And if he gets away with Dr. Barnaby, None of our questions will be answered. All right, nice. So we've got... We've got a lot to do. Although we are moving at a pretty good pace. Again, I just love the fact that, like, it's, 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 you know, it's literally just playing the original. Except just better. And I love it. Brad took off I really do. Hurry. I wonder what happened. Something big, I bet. And like the fact again, Otis has a voice now. I love it. And I really am liking this remaster. I really am enjoying it like a lot. I, I really, really am. I know I in the Adam episode, I kind of bitched about the AI. <laughs> but I mean, that's again, since the original, like survivors and stuff just suck. And that hasn't changed much in this one, it seems. Besides the fact that now they can talk, which is very nice. I do love that. It's small things, though, that I appreciate. I don't need, like, huge, huge things. It's the little things, like like that. Like, the survivor's hockey and stuff like that, you know? Like the shutter leading to the entrance plaza is open now. Maybe that guy dragging the old man around opened it. At any rate, you can get to the entrance plaza through Paradise Plaza now. Okay, I don't want to waste my chainsaw like fully or anything. But, um, because we're gonna need it. I mean, we can go get another one anytime we need, but I have to go all the way to Wonderland Plaza just to grab that, so. I gotta see something. Yeah, it still sticks out of them. They bleed. 
Ugh, so gross. It's one of my favorite things to do in the original though, is just grab the pipe and just chuck it at zombies, just watch them. Hit him in the leg, chest, sometimes in the crotch. It's brutal. <laughs> oh, we finally Frank. get the cutscene with Kent. Oh, Frank! How can you even show me crap like this? Ah, uh, you know, I really don't think you're cut out for this. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> well, all right then. At least we don't got to deal with Kent anymore until he probably pops back up later. Kent is so annoying. I don't even think I ever actually fought his boss fight. Maybe once. I just I do remember that from Phantom Savage, the Phantom Savage playthrough, watching him. Because, like, he, he showed everything. And like I said, I want to be able to show some of the stuff that I learned from that for, you know, the newer generation. This remaster and how faithful it is. But I probably won't do everything. Because I don't remember every little thing. But... Should we, should we do it? Should we just have... Just have one more quick step? We're, the, I'm going to have a bunch of quick step. Like, just... I'm going to have at least one quick step on me almost at all times. Quick step is just too useful. I know they call it Fleet Foot now, but I'm gonna keep calling it Quick Step. That's what it is! Yeah. Oh, they have a door now on this one? And the original, there wasn't a door for this. It was just a hallway, I think. That's kind of cool. Don't be daydreaming out here. Someone's shooting from the floor above. The professor. Look out! If we don't do something, the professor's gonna end up zombie chap. I'm going for it. You just worry about staying alive. Got it? Sorry guys, I had to let my dog out real quick, but we're back. Let's continue on. Alright, so Carlito fight number two. Here we go. Hopefully this goes smoothly. Take our quick step. Let's go. I'm coming, Carlito. I'm coming. Ow. <laughs> Hit him with the chainsaw. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, dude. I feel like you don't do as much damage to the bosses as you used to, as you do in the original with like the chainsaw here. I don't know if that's just me. But yeah, it's just look at this. It's so uh, like you still cheese them though. It's still easy to cheese. Oh. 
Bam! Got him. <laughs> it's the, so easy. Bye, Carlito. I'll be fine. Just take care of the professor. Go. Okay. He's unconscious, but alive. Ah, damn. You all right? Yeah, but I'm not in any condition to carry him. Can you get him back to the security room? Brad! Oh my god! The sedative's taken effect. The professor won't be waking up anytime soon. Managed to stop the bleeding, but he's running a fever. He needs medicine. A fever. Medicine, huh? Oh, yay, yay, yay. Time for another boss fight. Alright, I'm gonna have to make it quick. Man, there's no more coffee creamer. We're down to Uno Quick Step at the moment. I don't remember where you can get more coffee creamer exactly. Um, play the thing that sucks is because like for the first little bit, there's always coffee creamer here, but then you get to like here and then it's just gone. Like you don't have any healing items there, nothing. I think they do come back a little later, but man, it's weird. So that's the same. I'm gonna try and save this last quick set because we're gonna need it. Um. I spotted two people holding them in one of the shoe stores in Wonderland Plaza. A guy and a girl must be a couple. Looks like something's wrong though. Okay, I don't know if I want to try and get them yet. Thing is, we're, but we're already on like in the yellow time, just from the get-go for Brad, and that's. I don't want that. I don't like it. Should actually see. Thanks. That's more PB photos. Hold on, toys. I know there's a really good one somewhere. Sporting. That's good for like the skateboard. Get a visual cue. Is it in one of these ones or is it in? It might be. I'm trying to remember. There's a book. At least in the original, there was a magazine somewhere where you could uh, hold on to like uh, weapons longer, like like blades and like the chainsaw. Uh, okay. I'm trying to remember where that one's at. Anywho. Baseball bat, just so we have. Something. Skateboard. Oh, that's a big ass skateboard. Look at that. Big ass skateboard. Ow. 
that's still a cage jump over there. I don't think that opens until the cult shows up, so we gotta wait for that. Oh yeah, I forgot. These guys are still alive somehow, even though I killed them. That's frustrating. That's fine. Really not too concerned at the moment. I'm not here for them. Well, actually, hold on. Because we'll, we'll come there anyway. I want to go to Wonderland. I want to grab that extra chainsaw. Remember, kids, skateboard is your best friend in the park. You don't have quick steps if you're low. Quick steps. Or you just feel like running. Skateboard is your friend. Just don't hit too many zombies. Move across You know what would have been really cool is if, like, for the for at least for the remaster, after you beat Carlito, is if like they actually like put his P90 and you could just pick up the P90 here. I would love something like that. That would be a really cool addition. Not Capcom. I doubt anything's up here, but yeah. But like, how sick would that be? Think about it. Like, if you come up here after that first fight with Carlito. Oh, but oh, there's a magazine. Okay. But anyway, like, you just come up here and you, uh, just you grab a P90 with, like, 150 rounds or something. That'd be sick. And, like, oh. you just keep coming back and grabbing it. Like, I would love that. Something like that. Anyway, away we go. I actually do like, too, being able to actually see the durability meter on your weapons up there in the corner, that's really useful. So now you're just, like, not guessing. I mean, you could tell when it was about to break in the original because it would flash, but, like, you can actually see it. Like, I, I, I like that, too, so you can be able to see the, uh, the meter. It's nice. It's a nice little thing. It's a nice little addition. It's quality of life. Anymore. But I like it. I just saw a big dude carrying a machete in that home store. Crest lips, something or other. Yeah, I don't want to initially fight him just yet, and I don't know what scoop is lost, but that's okay. This leads to where we need to go anyway. I, I just, man, dude, I keep saying it, but I'm just loving this because it's the exact same layout. Like, they haven't changed anything. They just made it look pretty. <laughs> That's literally it, and I love it. I'm here for it. Hold up, I gotta see you real quick. I just gotta. Don't really need skateboard at the moment. Big old bronze sword, baby. No, get off me. Oh my gosh, get off me. Oh my god! Ow. How dare you. Frank, you're in the supermarket. You can get to the pharmacy through the door between the butcher counter and the seafood counter. <sighs> I don't... We should be fine. 
This is gonna be a little tricky. Because having like a shotgun is really good here, but we haven't done the gun store yet. We haven't done Cletus. And I'm a little nervous to do Cletus on this one. But um hmm. this boss fight too is a little intense. So we'll see how it goes. We'll just see. With the chainsaw, we should be fine. We're just gonna have to keep the chainsaw, make sure we use our quick step wisely, uh, and keep our health up. It's really the biggest thing there. Get out of my store. You came to vandalize my store, huh? Get on my watch! Someone's been hurt. I need medicine. Hurt? That's just what this bitch said <laughs> when she came to vandalize my store! Dude, it's crazy. I don't take kindly to God, vandalism. look at his eyes, dude. I uh. won't allow it! Listen to me, and listen good, partner. I don't allow vandalism in my store! <sighs> Yay. God, dude, I remember the first time I did this boss fight before I knew, like, how to really cheese him. And it was, it was hard. It was tough. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, you, you can really suck. Ow! What the hell? Just get up on him and smack the shit out of him with the chainsaw. Look at that, he's almost dead already. Dude. Oh man. Oh no. Oh no. But I gotta be careful. Uh, easy, dude. Easy. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. My store. My store. Who will run my store when I'm gone? My store. My food. My sails, my customers, customers. I love the original. He's like customers. Have a nice day. Clean up. Register six. <laughs> yeah, dude. God, it's like I just I keep going back to it. It's literally just the exact same as the original, exactly every like word for word. I think there's been like maybe one or two little changes in the script. Other than that, it's been exactly the same, and I love it.
Back in the land of the living, you're one tough cookie. Can you stand? Look, I saw you at the entrance yesterday. You needed medicine too. Maybe we should work together. I don't need any help. You people don't know a thing. You're the ones who caused this nightmare. You ruined Santa Cabeza and started all of this. Santa Cabeza. Nice, now we get the weapon part. I don't know. I've never really used this thing. Like, it's just not. You can't. I don't think you can take it with you. Maybe unless you pick it up. I guess. But other than that, I don't know. It's just. It's cool concept, but it's. I feel like it's not the most practical thing. Okay. So our homie's dead right here. Sorry, homie. Um. Baguettes. Baguette. Wine. Oh. Chug that sweet, sweet wine. Gosh, dude, it's just... I just, I'm, I still just can't get over, like, it's... These bosses, we are just zooming through them. Medicine! Okay, now we gotta get back to Brad before he dies. Do not wish for the homie to die. We gotta move quick too. I really, I'm gonna try and hold on to the quick step. The coward. Which one's the coward? I'm not sure. Man, partner, I would love to go do Cletus right now. I don't know if I wanna. The Hatchet Man's already in the yellow. We can kind of head to Cletus whenever. That's not too big a deal. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I have to remember. So we give Brad the medicine. And then there's still like one more part? Or is that when we start the next phase? We'll see. Either way, we might either do uh, the Hatchet Man at least this episode. Or I might do another mini episode where we'll do the Hatchet Man and Cletus. Or we'll do them in this episode. We'll, it just depends on what happens next time. I can't remember exactly. I just know we had to get to Brad. We must get to Brad. Ow, get off me. Like, I don't know where they are or anything. Those survivors still aren't there yet. I don't even know. If, I'm pretty sure they'll be there. Maybe they just show up a little later. I don't remember. There's so much stuff. I feel like there's so many ways you can see, like, the, of course, some side missions are, uh, maybe it's always the same. It just feels like when you play through it on different playthroughs, like, you can, I mean, you can basically hit it any way you want go do side stuff you don't have to do the story at all and get that ending you can just do side stuff you can focus on getting the 53,000 kills to get the Mega Man Buster you know it's whatever one of the things that I love about Dead Rising is like despite that it's you know it's it's an open game but like once you know the mall you know it's, it's always like the same but at the same time there's still so much you can just do ow okay fine is this how you want to play it Will die. Oh, I'll drink my quick stuff. I'll use it so I don't have to worry about you anymore. Come here, you. Come here! What, you scared? Are you scared? 
Are you scared? Is that it, huh? Are you scared? Come here. Come here. Oh, no. Get off of me. I certainly updated these dudes, I guess, at least somewhat. They were always just a pain in the ass. Do it. I could have grabbed the lovers, I guess, but I don't know. It would have just been more of a hassle getting through with these dudes. I do want to kill... I, I really do want them dead, though. They're stuck right now. Oh, now he's moving. Now he's moving. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Get off of me! Oh, bro. One thing about these games. It's just like, like you know, the, the zombies, there's not... Well, until you get like the four, but even here in this remaster, it's not like necessarily just an overwhelming amount of zombies. At times. Sometimes it can be, it just depends on where you're at. But like, I don't know, it's just like they get in your way. They get in your way a lot more than you want them to. You grabbed a lot unnecessarily. I gotta, I gotta see this real quick. Hold on, I gotta check. You. Oh, yeah. I remember that one from back in the day. So fun. Oh, it's not a cool one. Just wrap them and rip their head off. Come here, you. You're almost dead. Big ol' weenie. Weenie. Yo, weenie. Yo, weenie. Alright, now they're dead. Can you take the gun? Yeah, baby. We got the machine gun. Oh, that's okay. Okay, hopefully these guys stay dead now. I hope they don't, like, just come back. They're all dead, so there's no reason for them to come back. But they were all dead last time, too, and they still came back. I'm surprised one stayed dead. That surprised me. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if that's just a bug. What? Ow! Bro. I still can't believe the zombies can shoot now. Like, they just pop off rounds. Although it's kind of cool because, like, if you think about it, it's something you don't really see zombies do. Um, the only other time I really can recall that, maybe there's, like, another game or two where they do. But I, I'm thinking mainly, like, uh, Dawn of the Dead, I think. Oh, shit. Okay. It's too dangerous here, kiddo. I'll take you someplace safer. Thank you so much. I would have been a goner without you. There's another lady. Okay, inside. Hold on. I, I know we're we're really cutting it close. If I dig around too much longer, but I I, I want Please XP. It's not my fault. I want to help survivors. I want XP. I mean, Way. If we'd have stuck together, we'd both be dead now! What? Why are you looking at me like that? What are you uh, thinking? Don't get your panties in a bunch. No. Promise to keep your mouth shut for a bit, and I'll take you someplace safe. A safe place? Yeah, I've got a helicopter coming on Friday. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Sick. Come on!
Guys love the music, dude. Dead Rising music has always been absolutely amazing. Especially the first one, like that one, the other one, some of the, like, it just has some of my favorite, all time favorite zombie tunes. I don't know, I guess I can't. Don't have to actually say zombie tunes, but you know, zombies, small tunes, zombie tunes. Thanks a lot for bringing back the medicine. Sick. Next case will occur at 11 a.m., which it is almost 11 a.m. So, um, I don't even have time to try and go get the lovers. I really don't. So we're just gonna we're just gonna chill. Welcome to Dead Rising. 30% of your gameplay is just chilling. Literally just like like thirty percent of gameplay is just chilling in the office. Waiting for shit to happen. Actually they do have the new pastime feature, which is really nice. It, that's a very nice feature, but we don't need to use it just yet. I mean it's almost there anyway, it's not a big deal. But it, that is a very nice um just very nice alternative. Thanks for the medicine. You've been very helpful. <clears throat> he stabilized. He should be fine for now. Are you all right? You have blood on you. Huh? Oh, yeah. Must be from that girl I saved. Girl? Was she hurt? I offered to help her, but she took off. Can't really blame her for running from a guy with your looks. Anyway, she was saying something about Santa Cabeza. Santa Cabeza? I think I... <laughs> Dr. Barnaby, you're awake. Santa Cabeza. I should have known. I thought Santa Cabeza was over and done with. You plan to dispense justice now? Calm down, Dr. Barnaby. We're only following orders. We have to protect you. Protect? More like in prison. Doctor, if we're going to protect you, we need to know the truth. All of it. Please, talk to us. <sighs> I take it you know what Santa Cabeza is. Am I right? <gasps> Hello. Uh, <sighs> get out of your brain. <sighs> Fine. Well, I'll just get my information somewhere else. Thank you very much. Maybe if I can track down that woman again. Three PM. Okay, so that gives us time. So we are going to, I think, to to get that rolling and maybe to close this one out uh, we will do the hatchet man and maybe Cletus we should have time 
I can maybe go grab those lovers. I don't know. I just don't know if I really want to try and risk that. I'm not going to be able to get every single survivor, I don't think. I just saw someone in the sandwich shop in Paradise Plaza. That's pretty overweight from what I saw on the monitor. Uh, Ow! Damn it! Oh my goodness. I'm trying to just grab my gun. I'm starving to death here. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Yeah, hey, you've got some food, right? Split it with me. Come on, I'm dying here. Sorry, pal. Fresh out. Trying to bogart it all for yourself, huh? You just gonna eat every last morsel? Huh. And here I am, starving to death. You've got a lot of nerve, jerk. Sorry, pal. Fresh out. Trying to bogart it all for yourself, huh? Oh, do I have to you give him something? Okay, hold on. I forgot, I, I guess. Starving to death. You've got a lot of nerve, jerk. Oh! Oh! If chips are no. Nice, we gotta level up. Okay, come on, buddy. Can I give you a big police sword? This guy, and then we won't. I'm not gonna worry about the lovers. Like, there's no. I don't have time. I just don't have time. If I had like a quick step, maybe. But not since I have him, though. I'd have to bring him along. Come on. And I don't want to do that. Okay, I just realized the bat actually you can swing it twice. That's a nice little addition. You can only swing it once in the original. You did have the charge up, so that's nice to have back, but now you got like a second swing on a normal swing, so that's actually really nice. There's a gun shop in the North Plaza. I think we could do with some firearms right about now. There we go. No! God damn it. 
I got your back. No, god damn it. Give me back my bat. All right. Dude. Uh, let's try to hit the button. Okay, I'm gonna have to move quick. Haven't had a workout like that in a while. Say, where do you keep the food around here? Alright, that's done. On to the next. Let's get the hatchet man. I want his machete. Another really epic weapon. Maybe not as good as the little chainsaw we have. Maybe. I don't know which would technically be better. I think the chainsaw is really the best weapon in the game. Personally. I spotted a cop going to a woman's clothing shop in Wonderland Plaza. Oh. Oh no. It's that side mission. I do not want to try and do that just yet. It's fucking zombies everywhere, dude. Everywhere. No, no, no. Ultimately, if you don't know too, like you're pretty new to Dead Rising, like the Hatchet Man side quest, it's a it's a hard fight and it's kind of honestly sad. It's a very sad uh, realization after the fact. I won't spoil it, but if you know, you know, it is. You kind of feel bad for the dude after the fight. And I think it's Steve Bloom that voiced him, at least in the original. This sounds like him, anyways, or something. I don't know. I don't remember. Damn it. Do that my way. Ouch. No! I want the gun, I want the Uzi. It's so weird just driving by zombies or running by and just hearing gunshots from them. Like, I'm not used to that. Why is the music still going? How are they alive again? What is this bullshit? Whatever, I don't got time for it. It's fine. Okay, I really wish I had a quick step for this, but we... It's fine, we should be fine. Ooh, it's like broken. Because you're a mole. I'm right. Aren't I? You are nothing but a filthy animal! Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. You, son, are gonna tell me where the gorilla's hideout is. By the time I'm done beating information out of you, you are gonna be begging for death to come take you away. Huh. God, quick step would be so nice right now. It's fine though, we should be okay. God, he's big! He's big in this one. He's ripped. Oh my god. Got 
your eyeball. Oh, ow. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. You filthy trash! Yeah, he's got to be careful. So, like, his gimmick is he likes to, well, at least in the original, I think it's still, yeah, like, he goes in those floor grates and he throws flashbangs. And he just, he hits hard. As we've already seen. But yeah, his flashbang just went off. There you are. It's like quick step helps. Oh, I forgot he has those two, like, flares that make him go off. Um, but yeah, that's why quick step helps a lot. It's because you can just be fast and just like get up on him real easy. But even without, we're doing we're doing pretty good. Oh well, stay back, bro. Stay back. Yeah, you can also get PP from taking pictures of them going in. I never am able to catch him, but I'm not too concerned. But if you're good, real good photographer, there you go. Easy. XP. Got him! Woo! Man, it feels like firearms are just a lot more useful this time around, too. You. Over there. He actually has hair this time around too. Here. More hair anyways. Take this. My granddaughter. She was done in by those damn zombies. When I heard her scream. I just lost it. Everything went white suddenly. The war, it wasn't over. Not for me. It, it never ended. I mean, sad. Can't blame the dude. That's just sad, man. That, but that is Cliff um, Hatchet Man. Now we get his machete. Let's see how good it is. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. So next up, what time? Well, we still got. We still got time. We, we will be able to get this done if we're just fast. Um. So I guess let's do Cletus. Let's do Cletus. Um, I feel like it'd be good to do Cletus. Oh, the cult's here. There's posters. I think they're here now, so when we go back, we'll, we'll see the cult. Um, anyway, so yeah, Cletus. Cletus is a very easy boss, at least in the original. Hopefully he still is here. Um, it's just a matter of patience, really, more than anything with him. So if we come around, yep, here we go, down the hallway. I really am gonna want, like, a pistol. Yeah, give me a pistol. I really hope, let's see, come on, okay, boop. Look, mister, if we're gonna fight these zombies, we need guns! <laughs> Stay back! I trust those damn zombies about as far as I can throw them, but I trust people even less. Don't shoot. Look, let's talk to. You can talk to my 12 gauge. Don't get no closer, or I'll blow you all to kingdom come. Hey, hang on. Man, it's dead. Now, God damn it! I warned you. In a situation like this. I can't afford to trust nobody. 
Okay, here we go, here we go. Please still be the optimal strat. So you open this, you come back out, you run away like a little sissy baby. Clear out these damn Zamboys. That'll be another handgun if we need it, we probably will. So, you can stay in there and fight. You can use those, but they're not very good. So it's good to come out here and just go ham. I'm actually going to shut this door and open this door. And then you just stand back, pop his ass, keep popping him. Ow. Yeah, look at that. You can just cheese them exactly the same. We'll have this done in no time. Oh my gosh, dude, we are just cheesing him so hard. That's, I love it. Like, everything that worked in the original works here, and it's so awesome. You literally are just playing the original, you're just more pretty. That's all this is, and I'm here for it. Ow, get off me. There, got him. It's <laughs> so easy, dude. Such an easy cheese. Damn. Damn, mister. Come on now. What, what are you, crazy? You want, you want guns so bad that y'all are willing to kill for them? Let me go. Please. Hey, wait. No. Boy, Cletus is dead. But now, we have access to a gun shop. So now you can come and get you your goods. You can get a shotgun, get shotties, got a snapper rifle. How's a snapper rifle? Ooh, okay. I like that. Not too bad. Let's see how it... Yeah. Yeah, baby. It's not too bad. Alright. But now, yeah, you can get your shotguns. You can come here, get shotties, pistols. Um, just a super easy little boss fight. Just cheese it like that. So, yeah. Okay, let's get back to the security office. Um, the above the law one, we might try and do that one a little later, but right now we're okay. Ow, ow, ow. Is it? It's just about to be two o'clock, so still got about an in-game hour to get back. So we should be good. Like mom, baseball, and apple pie. That's why we're so pleased to announce our third. I grab another chainsaw, just pop it off so we have a full chainsaw. Ow. Ow. 
But I don't want it well, because up there is where the side mission is, so we're not going to go up there and figure that just yet. I mean, we can go up the other side, I think, because I think it's on this side. We gotta get back. We gotta get back to the security room. So that's what we're gonna do. One thing at a time. Ah oh, man, why are you guys alive again? I just don't understand. I forgot how to skateboard. Really? 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 After I just pull out my skateboard? Fuck you. Oh my god, dude. Goddamn zombies. Ugh. Oh, so the cult still isn't here. The posters are up. Surprised we didn't get the cutscene. Did the posters show up a little bit before they show up? I don't know, that's just... I fear we would have got cutting. Oh, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, made a bag. Still got just a little time. We're gonna just advance time, just just so that way we can uh, get it, get the next thing going. Oh yay, the Isabella fight. I forgot, yeah, so yep, it's the Isabella fight next. This is gonna be fun. All right, anyway, um, that I think will do it for this episode. We've got some time, so maybe next episode we'll continue on and maybe do the Above the Law mission right before we go to Isabella, <laughs> uh, or try to anyways. Um, I might need to get a few supplies. I don't know, we don't got, that's a, that's the thing, man, like, Especially even back then, like, because you got the 72 hours, so you got to be very careful about, like, what you're choosing to do. You got to know what you're doing. Um, but, yeah, nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Huh. Stay up to date, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.